Hello guys and welcome back to our fourth episode of our satisfactory Let's Play series where in our last episode we built this which is our first proper steel facility producing encased industrial beams, steel pipes, steel beams and also concrete so that we always have the resources we need for building. But for us to run that we're going to need a lot more power. So today we're going to be removing this basic setup and building it much larger all the way up there. I don't know why I do this to myself. And before we get started, if you do want to check out my save, I'm now going to be uploading um, my save game at the start of each month. So in the next few days, we're going to have um, this current save uploaded to Patreon. If you want to check it out, join me on there. And it's our up to date save. So you're actually going to see a little bit further than where the Let's Play is at currently as we're working on plastic and rubber currently. And you'll even get a few sneak peeks at some of the new things that I'm going to be doing and experimenting with in this Let's Play series. Factorio style piping for anyone? When I first built this little steel factory just to get us started, we had an influx of coal. So we have, I think, enough for two generators heading over to the, uh, the coal generator area currently. And I'm using that just to give us a little bit of a buffer for power while we work above uh, but the first thing that i want to do with all of this is get more coal for us and thankfully it's not actually that far away so you can you can see we've got the coal here but our next nearest one is just in front of us if we zoom in using photo mode you can see them over there and i believe if i'm correct oh do i have the map unlocked i do if we zoom in here you can actually see the um, your purity level. These are both pure, so pure, um, pure, pure coal nodes give us what's it, 120 on a Mark One. So that's 240. But if we use a Mark Two, which are now available to us, that's 480 coal. 480 coal. Getting a little bit excited here. Divided by 15 is 32 power plants, which is more than enough to get us started. So with that in mind, we're going to get some coal produced and then we're going to have to bring it along here and if I remember rightly yeah so in here we only have one line which means we can bring the rest of the coal along here and then just have it go out where that power point is because that is where the uh, the bus is that we built over there and then we can just take all of that across this bus and somehow we're going to have to move it up to the top but we'll worry about that once we've got that sorted so our first stop is to build two of these or two more at least there we go and then we'll grab these and i want these heading straight in fact it would be really good to know where okay so we want it in line with these. That's just going to give us a, an idea as to the positioning. So that's perfect. And then we'll do the same over here. Then we're going to do the same as we did before, which is grab a beam, uh, a road barrier, sorry. Place that on the front of these. Hmm, I think I used the wrong. <laughs> walkway so let's go with one of these there we go delete that we'll do the same over here there we are and these are going to be merged and then brought across here and then connect with this bus just over there i want these to stay in line where possible so, and these are just going to run all the way across to here. We will need to add some supports, but I'm not going to worry too much about that just yet. Definitely not the cleanest system, but it works, and that's the important thing. It does mean we have to juggle around the inside of here. So as you can see, we've had to move this across. This was originally, this was originally in the middle, and then, actually, let's just drop out here. You'll see that because these two are now on the left hand side, we've had to bring it out um, on the left hand side using elevators and then take that across to the steel facility where it drops down 
just midway through um, after the iron which is coming in there. I will actually move this line to the this line here but for now we still need all the power to run to keep the factory running so until we are ready to move the coal to the next power generators we need to leave these alone also um, I did actually add a few more so we upgraded these to mark two miners and that is why we've been able to extend that but it's not enough we need more the most difficult part of this build is actually going to be the logistics getting everything both the coal and the the water up to the top because that's going to require pumps uh, or for coal elevators and with the elevators we're kind of bringing it and wrapping it around trying to keep it relatively close to the wall so that it's not looking like it's standing on its own and it's also going to allow us to connect it to the wall uh, like the cliffside to make it look more supported it's coming across slowly but we are getting there i'm liking how it is and uh, the next thing for us is going to be to plan out the top after a few hours we've managed to get the conveyors up here and this is the the start so we're going to run the foundations probably across pretty much the whole area here because we're going to need probably about 40 oh we're already out of resources that's not good uh, we're, we're going to need probably about 40 coal generators which means we'll, we'll do probably two lines of 20 if that works out um yeah more resources have we got some down here nope so I'm going to go back to the base and afterwards we're going to hopefully have some pillars along here to make it look all supported. Also, the logistics are all going to come up to this floor here. So you can see this is where the coal's coming in. We're also going to have the water come up through here. Oh, kind of like that actually. I like the idea of having cutouts with ooh, almost jumped in or, or jumped out even yeah we could do move that. yeah have like kind of dog teeth for the architecture just along the front side that could look kind of cool um and we can then bring the liquids up in these like teeth um indented sections as well but that's going to be a pain and we're going to need a lot. I don't even want to think about how much water we're going to need. So what we're going to do here is just bring all the coal generators along the line. And you'll notice how I'm doing even spacing so that we know exactly where the inputs and outputs need to be. Uh, it, all inputs, actually. We're also using the elevators going to bring the coal up from the floor beneath. And we're going to do that with the piping as well. The only thing to bear in mind with the piping is that if you are feeding from beneath, you're going to need to use fluid buffers from a higher point. So we're going to have to take the water up to the top level, then bring it down and then across the logistics floor and then into the generators. And once you've done that, all we're needing to do next is to double it up. In fact, we've, we've got to double this up again, <laughs> but it's coming along. Also, what do you think of the wall that we've got going? I really like this dog tooth look. Looks more like a dam, to be honest, but I do like how it's going. Also, one thing to bear in mind, if you're wondering why I've deleted half the generators, we are actually going to need to tear all of that out to get more water in. We're probably going to have to overclock all of these water generators, but I wanted to leave at least four of the generators running so that we can ensure that we've got power bringing the water up to here. So once that these are all turned on, which you can see these first few are, we can actually remove them and everything's going to continue to run. And though it's not complete, you can see that I've taken the time to add a few supports for the time being. There will be more. With, I think we've got eight, maybe, no, I think we've got a few more. I think we've got about 12 of our generators running. They're going on and off at the moment because we haven't got a full line of coal up there. We've still got some here, you can see. But we need more water. So we have these three, which we're each bringing up just 120 in each pipe. Now we're going to, if I can just grab this one we're going to bring hopefully three oh no not what I wanted want three 
full lines of pipes. So each, actually, it's probably gonna look better if we do it like that. We're going to have three extractors to each pipe at the moment, and we'll underclock them so that we've got exactly 300 going in each pipe. That gives us 900 water to toy about with. Ta-da! So we now have all 900 water going into those and they're all being pumped up to the top to all of those power generators. But again, as per usual, there is still a problem. If we need to double this, I somehow need to get at least double the amount of water up there. So it looks like we're going to have to overclock the water extractors and then split them into like having their own lines pretty much. I think we need at least six lines of water. So I'm going to do that in a little bit, but first I want to paint these pipes. I think we should paint them blue with the uh, the color of the water so that we know it's water going up from far. And we'll do that for all of our piping uh, in this save. So let's do that now. We'll just quickly paint them. We, <sighs> I'm owing and ahhing whether we should do this. So if you get the pipeline swatch, you can very easily just change all of the pipes. Uh, oh help if we've got the right one by just selecting the color and then changing it and then all of these will turn to blue like so however because we're going to be using pipelines for different resources there's not much point painting them all blue it's probably better to have them all as orange and then paint them individually so it is done all of them are now running well more or less there's still a, a few little hiccups but there we are Really liking how this is going. And if you look from this side, you can actually see that we've got pillars supporting the whole build, which I'm really happy about. And I really feel the inverted ramps going down into the wall at the bottom of these dog teeth look really nice. It's very much like a crenellation. Crenellation? No, that's wrong. Machicolation, I think's the right term, uh, in the castles where you have under the walls the, the little, like, cutouts the, the the dog teeth uh, the where the murder holes are but we we don't need murder holes in this one we're also letting all of the water we're also letting the water do the balancing for us so if we look under here not that we can can i slide under here yeah so all of these join at the i think it's the seventh or it, it's the certain amount away from uh how many generators it, it, the water takes from the, the 300 pipe. I can't, can't remember off the top of my head. And then we also use a powerless pump. The reason why this is offline is it's just stopping water back flowing in that direction. It works a bit like a valve. So you only have the water that um, from that section of pipe behind it going into here. And because it's not filling up this generator, we have the water coming from this side, filling that up and then heading to all of these. So pretty happy with how that is. And then on this side, we have all of the coal. The only thing is we need, we need to have another line behind here. So that's the next thing for us to do. And I think I'm just going to jump over to it and show you guys uh, what we've done rather than talk about the whole build again. Oh, one thing to also bear in mind is that if we jump, uh, we might not be able to. If we jump out here. Can see that we have got the power you're not quite perfectly placed but the idea is that the power joint on the bottom is just under this power pole and then this goes through to the end if you don't like the clipping i'm sorry live with it <laughs> uh, i think it's quite neat quite clean obviously if we wanted to we could do it that side maybe we will later on once we've got the other line of generators but i wanted to keep it quite compact for now so there there we are that is the power generators currently. Time to double it up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. What you're looking at is a total of 40 coal generators providing me with the beautiful number of 3000 megawatts of power to play around with, allowing us to get ahead and really start building our factory up so that we can start working on 
oil and later down the line unlocking fuel generators and i am really happy with how this whole thing has turned out it's something a little bit different compared to what i normally build uh, just having the open top showing but I'm liking it and we're going to keep it like that for the time being. But that's all we have in this episode. Next time we're going to be looking at space elevator parts and building them in that factory there. And we're also going to be looking at the Asus Hypertube launcher and talking about that. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of our amazing supporters. Most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, Fireflesh, Jerry2, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Dixie Chris and Ben, and our Blood Moon, Haley. Oh dear, we overshot. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.